I'm in Vancouver. How are you? You're on with Matt and Daryl. Hi, Matt. Thank you for uh, responding to my call. Sure. I have a question, and it's a really specific Catholic question. It's about the image of Our Lady Guadalupe in Mexico City. Yeah. Are you? Have you heard of that? Is that the one where uh, where Juan Diego had like four visions or something? Well, he had the claim is by the Catholic Church that Juan Diego saw the Virgin Mary, and then he takes off his cloth and appear, he appears to a bishop, and then on his cloth is an image of the Virgin Mary. She appeared to him. Yeah, okay. And it's supposedly the Catholic Church's view is that it's still there. It's the same image on the cloth that's been there almost 500 years. There, there are also, there are also ca- Catholics and, and even like an abbot at the church who dispute the, the, the claims. But my, my thing is, uh, it doesn't matter whether I have an explanation for it or anybody else has an explanation for it. Until we can demonstrate that this is something that is real and happened, we don't really need an explanation. And until we come up with, with a demonstration that we have an explanation, whether that explanation is fraud or a god, until we have that demonstration, nobody should believe, you know, that it was. Yeah, I guess the... I, I, this is, I guess, from a, a Catholic perspective. The the argument, I guess, is that there's a connection between the actual image on this cloth and the teachings of the Catholic Church. I guess quick, I'll do it quickly. For example, there's a petal above her womb on this image, and the Aztec would look at it and say, well, the God that she's praying to is in her womb, which would confirm that Jesus is in her womb and that he's God and that she's the mother of God. So, things like that. Yeah. So there's kind of a... It, it, from the Catholic point of view, it, it, at least from the Catholic Church's perspective, it confirms Catholic teaching, and it actually, I'm not sure, I wasn't there in the 16th century, but supposedly it helped convert a lot of aspects of the Catholic faith, Juan Diego being one of them. I'm, I'm so, sure stuff like that helps convert a lot of people, but I, I'm not Catholic, never was Catholic, and whether whether you want to talk to current atheist Matt or former Southern Baptist sure. Matt, I don't buy it. I didn't buy it then. But I guess the question I would ask is, is there, if it's not uh, 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 the claim that the Catholic Church is making, a supernatural explanation, there should be a natural explanation. Yeah. I mean, there should be a painter of some sort. Do you know who that, do you have a, are you aware of another, of a natural explanation of why it's there? No, that's the point. The fact that we don't know, we don't have a natural explanation goes to the inability to examine it thoroughly, the inability to investigate properly, but not having a natural explanation doesn't mean that a supernatural one becomes viable. But, it, but the, I guess from the little I know of this image, mostly it has been studied scientifically. And I guess one is Phil Callahan, and he was a biophysicist from... It doesn't think, matter. Florida, I'm not sure. Tom, it doesn't matter. No. If every scientist looks at this thing forever and says, we don't know how it's done, that doesn't mean it's supernatural. Right. No, but it does. But it does mean that the, they're, they're the, the supernatural. How do I say this properly? Would you there use this? Be, would, let me ask. Hang on, would he's you getting ready to start. say something really wrong. Oh, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here, go for it. Go for it. No, no, no. You're the one that's getting ready to say something really wrong. I wanted you to get to it. Oh, okay, okay. No, I'm. I'm just wondering if, uh, if this image is supernatural. How, how would you show that? that? Well, the, the, the cloth itself supposedly is not supposed to last past 500 years. The image itself, the colors on it are not natural, and the, the, uh, there's no evidence of a painting or a drawing. Have you the seen it? Becomes, Have you seen it? Yes, I've, been, I've seen it in Mexico City, yes. And, and, and how did you determine that the fabric isn't natural and the colors aren't natural? That's a, those are from scientific studies. No, the scientific studies don't reach the conclusion that something is not natural. They'll, they'll either say they we tell it. they'll either say we have an explanation yeah. or we don't. And if they don't have an explanation, then guess what? We don't have an explanation. We don't get to say, hey, science <laughs> didn't have an explanation, therefore it's supernatural. No, but it can it can eliminate factors like it's a painting or a picture. It, it can do that. Sure. Okay. So if I ask. You know, what's what's red plus five, and we eliminate seven, nine, thirteen, and sixty-five. That doesn't mean that the answer is is purple people eater. No, but I I think though that there's a there is a casual connection. It seems like between the image and the actual claim that Juan Diego saw the Virgin Mary, because there's an actual. Of course, there's a connection. Guess what? Catholics like Catholic imagery and stories about Catholic imagery. It's a tangible image, though. 
So what? How, how did that tangible well, I, image come about? Do you know? The only explanation I'm aware of... No, I asked a question. Do you know how it came about? That's the explanation is from the Catholic Church that it's a miracle. Would you accept the same level of evidence that you're telling us about from a Hindu miracle or a Muslim miracle, the, the miracle of Fatima? Would you accept the evidence from any of the hundreds of miracles... Of that have the same level of evidence. Of course, but in this you would this okay. You, you would accept you would accept that level of evidence from a Hindu miracle. Of course. Then your standards of, of evidence are ridiculously and dangerously low because you're willing to believe things before there's sufficient evidence to warrant belief. Wow. Yeah. But the question is, then I guess the question I would have is, what would be sufficient evidence? More than that. For Hell of a lot more than that. <laughs> Well, I guess. I mean, if, if God, let's assume Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever, and he performed miracles in the first century. I, I will assume that miracles. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and that is non-existent. Right. Well, it's a long discussion, but just the, the, the point I, I quick make to me. is, if it is, a, if it is a miracle, right? How would you prove then, it? Then, well, you could, you could prove it by there's a tangible sign between her being her image being there and the actual claim that she appeared in St. Juan Diego. No, that doesn't, I mean, prove, that doesn't prove a miracle any more than, than Barney and Betty Hill claims they're being, they've been abducted by aliens. And you can, get the, you can say that their stories are similar. See, I, don't, I think there's a much more uh, strong connection between the image and the actual story than I, what you see. I think there's. I think we we would disagree. Well, we definitely uh, do think, because I'm. You're saying that it's that you that it's reasonable to conclude that this is in fact a miracle. And I, when I ask how you can possibly demonstrate that, all we get is well, the stories match, and scientists didn't have a natural explanation. That doesn't a miracle well, make. But, but what would all right? So now we have to define what a miracle is. Then if if that image can't be explained by natural means... No, no, stop, a, stop, Tom, stop. This is where your error is. It's not that it okay, can't... It's not that it... Did you say it's my error? No, so I said, where's my error? I'm telling you. I didn't say your error. What you said is it can't be explained. The fact that there isn't currently an explanation does not mean that it cannot be explained. It just means that at the present moment, there's not an explanation. Correct. Right. Just like when we but, didn't know what caused lightning, people jumped to the conclusion that it was Zeus hurling them. Is that true? Because we didn't have an explanation then? The only thing I would say is, is a distinction between Zeus and the Thunderbolt and this image is that there's more of a casual connection between this image and the story versus Zeus and the Thunderbolt. I see, I see a more stronger connection between the actual claim. Okay, hey, stop, stop, seeing strong, stop seeing strong connections in stories and start looking for strong connections in evidence. Would you accept... I, I guess... You wouldn't sorry, accept this same level of evidence in a murder trial, I'm guessing. Or, or would you? Well, it depends on... It would depend on if there was a visible... If, so, if I saw somebody kill somebody, that would be a, a visible I don't, crime, right? I, don't, I do not I want you on my trial if I'm accused of a crime. Why not? Because if I saw somebody kill somebody, that's reliable. You I didn't, you didn't, you didn't see, see somebody kill somebody. You didn't even... You, what you saw was a crime scene. Okay. But the question becomes, if... If it's if it's not supernatural, then it's then then there should be a painter or some sort of no 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 no. This is the thing. This is the this is the monumental arrogance of all fucking humans. You're like, well, if it's not supernatural, then there should be a painter and we should be able to identify it. Wrong. That's not how we determine whether or not something is supernatural. You don't just get to say, if it's not supernatural, then we would know what the natural explanation is. That is the flaw in your thinking. The fact that we don't you know, know does not mean that it's supernatural. Supernatural needs no, to be demonstrated. You have to provide evidence for it, not just say, well, you can't prove me wrong. You haven't given me a better explanation, so I'm going to go with it. That's not how reason works. Yeah, I, but I, I guess the, the, the difference of opinion is that I think that uh, it's kind of like the Bertrand Russell thing where someone says he doesn't believe there was any evidence in front of God. But the fact is God gave him enough evidence. So how much evidence is enough evidence is, I guess, what I would ask you. Yeah, more than you got. All right. Mike in Vermont.